Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I'm going to make one little tidbit tonight on this. There's a scripture that says, forsake wrath. And the reason I'm bringing that up is uh, my memory was, was uh, brought to a moment when I was taking care of my husband. Excuse me. And sometimes when you're doing caregiving, it can be extremely taxing physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And as you find yourself pouring out and pouring out, your levels of grace tend to diminish and your your temper shortens. And I would find myself getting annoyed, easily, more easily annoyed at certain parts. And what the Lord, now this is what I love about God's word. God's word is very much alive if you have yielded your life to him and if you are filled with the Holy Spirit to give you all the grace it takes to operate on what the word says. Now, you know how some of you guys take a navigational thing and you'll say, um, you know, you have a mechanism in your car that can work over your phone and you'll say, call my children call my boss, call the grocery store, or give me directions to blah, blah, blah. And then next thing you know, um, the call is being made. You haven't moved. You just vocalize the command and the call is being made. That phone is programmed to operate on your behalf at your command. Now, that's the way we are supposed to be programmed to operate by the word of God and do his commands. So when God led me to that scripture one day, I went upstairs and I was like, Lord, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Please help me. You know, and, and I'm serious. I was feeling all of this, this, this annoyance and frustration and I just wanted to be left alone. But I knew my husband couldn't do that because he he still needed me, whether I wanted to be needed or not. He still needed me. It was legitimate. Okay, so I'm praying and I'm aggravated. And as soon as I started praying, God led me to scripture and I read it. And I went to the chapter and the verse and I'm reading it. I'll put it up on the screen later, probably tomorrow. And, um, and it said, blah, 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 forsake wrath. And as soon as I saw the words... It was as if everything in me adjusted to that word. And everything in me, there was a mechanism, a built-in mechanism from the Holy Spirit that adjusted my temperament and my attitude and my emotions. Now, by the time I got through praying on that thing, and then going downstairs to take care of my husband, there was a newfound love. There was a newfound patience. And there was no more annoyance, no more aggravation. Gone. Now, I say that to say, if you pray, you read God's word, and you obey, you will find that God's grace is truly sufficient and you will find that God's word will feed your spirit with everything you need to obey what it tells you to obey and to stop what it tells you to stop doing or stop feeling. I stopped feeling annoyed, totally stopped all the way till the day he died. Now, only God's word can do stuff like that. Think about that and get in his word, you guys. Ask him when you're in a dilemma. Think, Take a minute to say, Lord, would you tell me what you want me to read? God knows what you need to read. Amen. Amen.